If you want more Bears rumors and news every day, this is the place for you. Chicago Bears Now. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because we're putting out videos almost every single day on the latest Bears rumors, news, mailbags like this, some draft coverage as well. Lots of things planned for you guys for the rest of this season and on into the offseason. So subscribe so you don't miss any of it. First up on our mailbag is Christian Watson. Should we re should we sign Colin Kaepernick? Why? Like, and I'm I'm saying this in the nicest way. I got no problem with his social stances and social uh, all that stuff he he was is standing up for or kneeling down for, if you will. But the guy hasn't played football in half a decade. Like, whether that's his fault or not, that's not up for me to decide. But you don't sign guys, especially at quarterback, who haven't played in four years. You want to work him out, fine, but I'm not convinced he wants to play football, and I know this for a fact. Even if he's still a decent quarterback, he's not a franchise guy. He's like 33 now. Like, you need to get a young guy in here that you can groom and that can be the future of your franchise. Zach C., should the Bears name Chuck Pagano as head coach? So you're saying fire Nagin, Pagano is the interim, I assume. I don't want Pagano as my permanent head coach. I'm not interested. I've seen that with the Colts. It did not go that well. Um, I think he's fine as D.C. It, look, if you want to fire Nagy, if they lose the Lions and make Pagano your interim, sure. But uh, he is not who I want as my permanent head coach. Ethan Owen is up. Hashtag Bears. Why can't our offense get going when we have an offensive mind in Matt Nagy? A couple of things. One... There's some there's some ideas out there that maybe Nagy's not as good as we thought. Uh, I'm I'm not sure about that because he hasn't had a quarterback and he has a horrible offensive line. But maybe he's not as good as we thought. Uh, my main thing would be bad quarterback play and horrible offensive line. It's hard to win in the NFL when you have that. It's hard to move the ball. It's been a challenge for this Bears offense the past two years. Railrail27 uh, hashtag Bears. Do you believe the Mac Jones hype? Wasn't a fan, but have recently started watching, and he's intriguing. I think intriguing is the right word there. Uh, doesn't have the strongest arm, but throws a really nice deep ball. Does play with a lot of NFL talent at Alabama. He's got some really good receivers and Devontae Smith, and even with Jalen Waddle getting hurt, he's still got some other weapons out there. they got a really good running game as well. Uh, I like Mac Jones. It's like a day two pick, uh, second, third round, but he's also a junior. He may just go back to Alabama as this year is a free year anyway, but uh, he's moving up boards. There's no doubt about that. More Mac Jones talk. What do you think about this draft? Samuel Cosme in the first round, the tackle out of Texas, and Mac Jones in the second round. Don't hate it. In my recent mock draft, I had them going Christian Darisaw and uh, round one, the tackle out of Virginia Tech, and Mac Jones in round two. I'm fine with that. I would prefer quarterback in round one, but if Lawrence, Fields, Wilson, and Lance are all gone before the Bears pick, which I think is pretty possible, you may go tackle in round one. I know this. you got to go tackle or quarterback in the first round. If you do anything else, you have absolutely failed, in my opinion. So who are you firing? Because these guys have made some questionable decisions in the past, especially Ryan Pace. If you had a choice, who are you firing first, or maybe you want both, type MN for Matt Nagy, type RP for Ryan Pace. If you want both of them gone, type B down in the comment section. I'll make this the pinned comment on today's video, so go ahead and let me know right there. Sagar, why haven't we been blitzing? Pagano doesn't blitz a lot, which I think he should start because Robert Quinn's been terrible. Uh, that's another bad decision from Ryan Pace. Robert Quinn has one good year in six years, and let's give him $70 million. Bad idea. Like, it's just not not worked well at all. I think he still only has one sack. Yeah, it's been bad. Uh, I do think you should start blitzing uh, uh, more often than you have been because Khalil Mack can't do it himself. Hicks is hurt, and Quinn sucks. So, yeah, I would start bringing some pressure. Jeremy Cox, do you think that the reason the Bears are terrible is because Akeem Hicks getting injured? They started losing before Akeem Hicks uh, got injured. Him being out certainly hurts, but this team is bad because the offense is bad, guys. Like, forget the Packers game. Yeah, the defense got run over. This defense has been top five most of the season. The offense hadn't held up its end of the bargain. If this offense was, I'm not even kidding, top 22 in the NFL, not top 20, not top 15, not top 10, like a top 22 offense, it'd be a playoff team easily. But they're like literally as bad as the Jets offensively. It's been that bad. Mr. Lee, could we make a deal for Jalen Hurts? But why? But why? We've seen him throw like seven passes. He was overdrafted. That's a mess in Philadelphia with him and Carson Wentz. I don't want Jalen Hurts. He's not saving the day. No, I don't want Jalen Hurts. 
Ethan, should we get Stafford? I don't think so. I think he's too old. Uh, I think he's regressed a bit this year as well. Has not had a great season. He's better than what you got. If you can get him for like a third-round pick, maybe, but uh, – it's not a long-term solution. And at this point, I want a guy who can be here for a while. And I, that's not Matt Stafford. Logic. If Pace is fired, that's some good logic. Who would be a good pick that would bring the organization into the 21st century? Someone who has modern ideologies. Someone who is embracing motion offense. Someone who understands the modern game. I, I don't think Ryan Pace is a good evaluator of talent. Like, I, I just... His quarterback decision making has been bad. He think about this. He paid Mike Glennon forty five million. He traded up for Mitchell Trubisky, and he traded for Nick Foles. Even with the restructuring, is paying him eight million dollars a year, uh, and he wasn't even named your starter this season. If you can't evaluate the quarterback position, you can't be a general manager in the, in the NFL. So I don't care who it is, but it's someone who can do that. Now, Bet Rivers is our sports betting partner on Chicago Bears now. If you want to make some money, this is the place to do it. They're going to give you a 100% deposit match when you sign up. So go to chatsports.com slash betin or chatsports.com slash betil, y-i-n, y-i-l. If you're in the state of Indiana, you want to go to chatsports.com slash betin. For you Illinois folks, it's chatsports.com slash betil. You can deposit and sign up from anywhere, but to actually place a bet, you must be within state lines of one of those two states. So go to chatsports.com slash betin if you're in Indiana, or chatsports.com slash betil if you're in Illinois. Ethan, how come our run game got going? Well, David Montgomery broke a 60-yard run, so that's going to inflate your uh, inflate your numbers there. I did think the run game was a little bit better with Trubisky back there. I think the threat that Trubisky can run helps a little bit in that department. Cody White here also came back. He helped uh, playing at center. I thought he played really well. Um, so those are a couple of reasons why. This is still a team that's not consistent running the football whatsoever, even though that's how they try. They wanted to be a, a pound-the-ball football team, but – They've literally been dead last in rushing for most of the season. So hopefully Montgomery's good the rest of the year. He's been fine. It's just the O-line has not been good. Jake Fox, do you think we should trade A-Rob and get good draft capital and get some good linemen and keep Trubisky for another year? Hell no on Trubisky. Uh, you need a good offensive lineman, yes. If you can get a first for A-Rob, maybe I do it at this point, honestly, because negotiations have gone so poorly. I prefer keeping him, even if you have to tag him, but uh, a tag and trade could be on the table. We'll have to wait and see. H-Dub, would Matt Ryan be a good trade uh, if we only have a second? If it's only a second round pick, I think that's what you're asking. It's kind of the Stafford thing, right? Like Matt Ryan and Stafford could come in here and play good for two or three years. But I would only do it if I felt like I really had a shot of making a Super Bowl run with one of those two guys. And with the current state of the offensive line, neither of those guys are that mobile, guys. So... I don't know. I would at this point. I I, I think I'm I'm like 90% in on trading or drafting a quarterback unless you can get Dak Prescott. Kayvon, if Nagy gets fired, will Laser be fired too? If Nagy's gone, the whole staff's gone. Let, let's make that clear. That's how. That's just how it works. Uh, and and nine times out of ten, like there might be scenarios where, uh, depending on the organization, like hey, we want to keep this like wide receivers coach or something like that. But like coordinators, especially, yeah, like. Everybody is gone for the most part if Nagy gets fired, and that's how it should be. The new head coach should bring in an entire new staff. Got time for a few more here on today's Chicago Bears Now Live show. DeVay Dolly, should Virginia sell the team? Uh, Virginia McCaskey there. I know you guys are frustrated with her. Um, no. <laughs> a, it's never going to happen, and B, like – I think we put too much stock in, like, what the owners do. Like, I, I know living here in Dallas, like, everyone blames Jerry Jones for everything, and he's a lot more hands-on than other owners. But at the end of the day, it's a coaches, it's a GM, coach, and player league. You got to get a better GM and potentially a better head coach and a quarterback. So that's what it comes down to. What is the better holiday? I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving, uh, albeit a weird year here in 2020. I hope you enjoyed some good food, some family time. Or do you like Christmas? Type T for Thanksgiving, C for Christmas, let me know down in the comments section. Speaking of the holidays, we got some deals for you guys, uh, so get your votes in. Also, go to this link, chatsports.com slash Bears Monday. If you're watching live, our Cyber Monday deal got extended. If you're watching at a later date, a lot of this stuff should still be on sale, so go to chatsports.com slash Bears 
Monday. You get this two-pack of polos for like under 50 bucks right now. These hoodies are on sale as well. Lots of gear available at chatsports.com slash Bears Monday. Check the comments. Check the description. The link will be in there. I love this uh, long sleeve and uh, beanie combo uh, that is 30% off. It gets cold in the Windy City, believe it or not. Chatsports.com slash Bears Monday. Go ahead and shop today. All right, last couple here. If there's an eight seed like rumored, are we in? And what happened in, uh, uh, to Gibson? Uh, the eight seed, uh, let's focus on that here. Um, as of now, no. The Vikings have the tiebreaker. Here's the good thing for the Bears. You play the Vikings again, so you control your own destiny in that regard. And the remaining schedule, not that tough. You got the Packers in Week 17, but otherwise it's Detroit, Houston, Minnesota, Jacksonville. Those are all winnable, as bad as things have gone. I'm not saying they're going to go 4-1, but you got a decent chance. So, uh, look, if you get if 8 seed does happen, yeah, I think they have a good shot. 7 seed, still not loving their chances. Let's go to, let's go to uh, HW here. Are there any good names on who we could hire as GM? Uh, you guys have asked this a couple of times. Uh, Lewis Riddick's a guy I would call. Other than that, I got to think a little. Think about, think about this, and I, I don't have a ton of names off the top of my head. Good organizations that have drafted well in recent years. I think the Kansas City Chiefs fall in that category. I think the Baltimore Ravens fall in that category. Guys in those front offices, those are names I would target if I were the Bears. Matt Antonelli. Would Lincoln Riley be a good replacement, replacement for Matt Nagy? I think he'd be an upgrade. He's a hell of a play caller, and a lot of guys scoffed at the idea that an air raid Big 12 quarterback could succeed. I think Cliff Kingsbury's done a pretty good job at Arizona, and Lincoln Riley is better than Cliff Kingsbury in my opinion. Yeah, I would hire Lincoln Riley in a heartbeat. Christian Watson, if we go to the playoffs, do you think we can make noise? Nope, because you don't have a quarterback. <laughs> um, I, you know, I'm not saying you can't win a game. Could you win a game? Maybe. But you can't go deep in today's NFL without a good offense. Bears don't have a good offense. They don't have an average offense. They have a piss-poor offense, so no. I do not think they can make noise. Joseph Beckner, do you think they should trade for a better pick? Like, move up in the draft? I think you should always look to move up, especially if uh, you're, you need a quarterback. So, uh, yeah, if it, let's say the Bears have the 14th pick. Three quarterbacks are off the board, but Zach Wilson is still sitting there at 10 or, 10 or 11. Go get him if you like him. Like, you should always move up. That's why, as bad as the Trubisky thing was for Pace, at least they saw a guy like, hey, like, we want a quarterback. The problem is everybody on the planet knew Trubisky wasn't the guy except for the Bears. So uh, that was the problem. But if you like a guy and he's got some potential, yeah, you should move up. 